As I said at the beginning, the beauty of all creation, with Vermont and the sun and the foliage and everything that um, makes us legendary uh, coming together. And of course, at the center of all of that is yourselves and the love you know, the love you share, what you have come to experience. Speaking of my sister, um, I'm her older sister, right? So one would think that I would look elsewhere for a role model, someone whose path that I could emulate. The truth is that my sister is my role model. Drew, a wedding day. For me, it feels like just yesterday, where it's saying is. We're a little pee for a text bag. Squeezing two of us in a twin bed. Staking moments in between class. Our beginning felt so full of hope and excitement. After years and years of planning, the big day is finally here, and I could not be more excited. The last 10 years have been an absolute joy, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds. Welcome my wife, Denise. We would like to welcome everyone, and I want to thank you for making the trip to Vermont, to the beautiful state of Vermont, to share Elizabeth in Drew's big day. First off, I'd like to thank everyone um, who has helped make tonight such a special occasion. Friends and family of Drew and Elizabeth, the wedding party, and especially the Coopers and Gillespies for raising two extraordinary people. We received a letter from MIT asking Elizabeth to uh, join the basketball coach for a recruiting day. He goes, but dad, I'm not going there because they don't have nursing. That was her goal, to become a nurse. I want to be just like her, and I approach everyday situations with, what would Elizabeth do? I actually said that out loud earlier today. Now, Drew, I too asked Elizabeth some things that she loves about you leading up to today. She loves your lighthearted and goofy self, always going out of your way to do the little things make her day that much better each and every day. And she also loves your can-do attitude, even if that means doing construction on the back deck while you're supposed to be putting away shower presents. She's my best friend. She's the best friend a gal could ask for. She's the type of friend who is there for you the second you're in tears, the second you have something worth celebrating, um, the second you text her with. Elizabeth will always make time for you, but she doesn't just give you her time. Elizabeth will shine a light on you and make you feel loved, supported, seen. This girl um, has a huge heart. I'm sure everyone here can attest to that. Um, but honestly, between Elizabeth and Drew, it's not an even match, it's the perfect match. Elizabeth has the biggest, most tender heart, and from the very beginning I knew that Drew, with his equally big heart, his sweet, supportive, compassionate nature, would make the perfect husband for my perfect sister. Beautiful? Well, folks, just look at her. <laughs> just look at her. I will, I will say this, she is as beautiful on the inside as she is in the outside. I promise to always be a safe harbor, a warm place to land. I promise to prioritize you, no matter what life throws at us. I promise to be your biggest fan and strongest advocate. I promise to work at us for as long as I'm on the But mostly I promise to love you endlessly forever always. He quickly mentioned your infectious smile, and I couldn't agree more. Your smile is contagious, and it echoes your kind heart and the good person that you are. But among the long list of things that, that Drew loves about you, he also mentioned your competitive spirit. And for Drew, I think that's very important. When I think of Elizabeth, three words come to mind. She's tough, she's smart, and she's beautiful tough part. When she was just dying to play soccer, she asked me for advice. I said, I really don't know much about soccer, but go out there, be yourself and aggressive, and knock the girls down. And Elizabeth, she's been a nurse at Mass General for several years now. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds. I vow to love you endlessly and to never stop making you laugh. I'm the luckiest guy in the world, and I cannot wait to see you walk down the aisle. 
I love you so much, and I'm so excited to start a family with you. P.S. I really hope I wasn't supposed to fill all these pages because I only have like two more minutes before meeting the guys. But I will see you at the church. I love you so much, Elizabeth Cooper. <laughs> uh, Drew and Elizabeth, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely, and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. Receive this ring. Elizabeth, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life. I do. Elizabeth, you take Andrew to be your husband, to you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life. I do. Mr. and Mrs. When Denise and I first met Drew, we looked at each other and said, is he 11 years old? Drew. You look very dapper yourself there, Haas. I still remember junior year uh, down on Lowers when first really discovered you had the hots for Elizabeth. You'd always want to go upstairs and pregame because Eliz would be there. Drew is the yin to Elizabeth Yang. His calm and cool demeanor always calms her down, except for when he's running late, which isn't that often, right? Um, his humor always keeps her laughing, and his thoughtfulness just makes her life easier. They're a perfect pair. Now, I have spent countless hours with Drew in the golf course. Not only do we have competitive fun, but he is forever the consummate gentleman. So yes, the, the wise man was right. Welcome, Drew, to my family, and I feel blessed to call you my son-in-law. Elizabeth and Drew never stop raising the bar for each other and challenging each other to be the very best versions of you. So everyone please raise a glass to the extraordinary couple.